South Africa is home to some of the most dangerous snakes in the entire world, but some of them are rather unique in ways that you wouldn't even imagine. And in today's episode, I'm taking you guys on a bit of an adventure to meet a snake that has mastered the art of death. Alright guys, welcome back to another quick video. Here's another snake I really want to show you. So earlier, I showed you guys the beautiful Cape Cobra, but this right here is the Runkles. These guys, what he's doing right now is he looks dead, but in fact, this is called Thanatosis. It's pretty much the event where these snakes will play dead. You can kind of see he's performing a little bit right now, really trying to sell it. Now these guys do it for multiple reasons. Reason number one, a lot of animals don't really want to eat rotten food as it can carry disease. And number two, now what the snake is doing is she's actually watching me, he or she, I'm not sure. And if I was a predator and I was like, hey, this, this guy, he looks dead, let me take a sniff. As I get too close, turns around, bam, they got front fixed fangs and they'll deliver that potent neurotoxic and cytotoxic venom. Not a mix that you want. And if this doesn't work, these guys will lift up, they will hood out just like a cobra, and they can actually spit venom by lunging their whole head forward like that, pretty much catapulting that venom straight to you. And if that gets into your eyes, you got to get that rinsed out immediately. Not something you want to experience. Luckily me, I got my little disabled glasses on. <laughs> so I got a little bit of an upper hand with these guys. But I actually want to show you guys this. It's really amazing. Now I'm going to take her out of this thanatosis position. But look at how beautiful the chevron patterning all the way down the body is. You can see, yeah, that's that hood. How cool is that? These guys oftentimes have pitch black heads and are also well known for having bars on their necks. Sometimes people even refer them refer to them as the ring neck cobra. Quite a cool name. However, these guys aren't true cobras because they belong to their own genus of Hemochartus Hemochartus, whereas the other cobras belong to the genus of Naja. However, these guys are very, very similar. They're still very closely related and that's why they look so similar and they can perform so similarly too. What an amazing snake. Another thing that's different from these guys compared to other snakes is these guys have keeled scales. They've got these really rough, rigid scales and it actually looks really cool. It's really cool to touch, but I won't touch it because, you know, I don't want to get any of that neurotoxic nor cytotoxic venom. And these guys are very, very cool to have around out here in South Africa. They mainly feed on frogs, but they are known to scoff down pretty much anything that fits in their mouth. So what an amazing snake. These are easily one of my most favorite snakes in the entire world. They're pretty much like dragons. How cool is that? But anyway, guys, my name is Wild Marek. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Nature has never been shy with its creativity. And the Runkles is proof of that. And if you think the Runkles is cool, be sure to click here and here so you can see more of nature's creations.